So the reason I emailed you, Jen, is after seven years, we feel like the landscaping needs just a little bit of updating. Mm -hmm. And we've got a particular problem over here, which is this dogwood tree. As part of the original design, it was acting as a screen mm -hmm. between our backyard and our neighbor's backyard. And it's since died, so that's something we need to address. Right, because that is a crucial focal point between you and your neighbors when you're sitting on your patio. You want some privacy, right? Exactly. So as landscape designers, we try to put the right plant in the right place. Uh, but sometimes that changes due to environmental conditions, uh, such as this canopy of this walnut tree. I suspect seven years ago wasn't extending this far into the garden. True. So the shade patterns, the sun patterns change, and I think the shade has stunted the growth of these two viburnums right here, and that one definitely got more sunlight. Dogwoods are pretty shade tolerant, so I'm not exactly sure what caused it to die, but the same principle applies. Either way, I have an idea. Since you love all the plants that you have here, um, I think we could play some landscape checkers with your plants here, and then you don't have to go out and buy any new ones. Sounds like a great idea. All right, let's see what we could do. Okay. So let's start with taking this dogwood out. Since we're not trying to save this tree, we can break down the root ball to make it easier to get out. All right, should All we right. give it a try? Let's do it. You wanna grab from the basket or up here? Uh, I'll do the basket, that's it. There we go. Nice. Let's roll it this way. We'll move the big viburnum to the dogwoods place since it could do most of the screening. We'll be a little more careful with this one since this is going to be our new screen plant. All right, Chris. I think we're good. Okay. Well, let's try it. So what we're going to do is tip the viburnum this way onto the tarp and into the other hole. Okay. All right, so let's give it a shot. Right. We'll see what happens. So far, so good. All right. Okay. Let's, let's scoot it this way so we can position it to the hole. So if you want to push and I'll pull. Okay. Now let's go this way, then we'll position it in the hole. Okay. okay. Awesome. All right, let's stand this guy up. Wow, that looks pretty good, Chris. All right. Think that's good? That looks good. To replace the hole left by the big viburnum, we'll dig up the smaller one and put it in its place. All right, I think we got it. Yep. So, let's lift this up, Chris. And get to the bottom. I'm gonna grab this part of the basket. Okay, you go first. All right, the hole looks big enough. Now just hold it, Chris, and we'll see if that's a good face. Okay. I think that looks good from because you want it from the patio side, and the back side will fill out with the new sunlight. All right, looks good. All right, so we'll go ahead and backfill this one now. For any transplant, it's always a good idea to add some starter fertilizer to stimulate the roots. Just broadcast it evenly around the plant. Okay, we have the backbone of the project in, the structure of these viburnums. That one was already there, right? And this one is an amazing screen from your patio right here. And then this one from underneath the walnut tree is gonna provide a, a beautiful screen in the future. Now that's gonna get a little more sunlight. So, but let's look at the blank areas in the ground here. Um, your stepping stone pathway 
is covered by these perennials. This is a beautiful cone flower, Echinacea. So what I'd like to do is dig it up, cut it in half and divide it and put it around to fill in the blank areas. Great. So just try to get a little root ball around it because perennials don't, they're going to be nowhere like those viburnums. I have to go around it. So what I think we could do is take these two plants and make them into four plants. So get your shovel. Okay. Lay the plant down. This uh, doesn't hurt the plant at all? No, the plant's going to thrive even more. Okay. Cut it right in half. And okay. we'll get water on them right away after we transplant. Some might break off, but you'll have the roots. Hey, Jen. What, what about this fern here? It seems way overgrown. Can we move that? It kind of has outgrown its space. What are you thinking? I don't know, maybe one of these blank spots over here? Now you're thinking like a designer. I think that's perfect. It would give this mountain laurel much more space to grow into. This one will be tucked right into the stone, so might take a few shovels. Chris, I'm going to pull it up a little bit. I'm going to bring some of the soil over there. All right. We'll cover the bed with mulch and give all the plants a good watering. Wow, Jen, I love how it turned out. It looks great, and I'm especially glad that it's true to the original design. All we did is play checkers with your existing plants. Uh, one thing to remember is that landscapes are fluid and they're forever changing. Things are gonna grow at different rates and shapes. So you just gotta keep on top of pruning. Uh, in your situation, this was free. Anyone could do this at their own home. So I really hope you enjoy it. That was great. I love it and I will. Thank All right, you. great, take care.